Hey guys, Jay here from Storage Rack Solutions. Uh, thanks for ordering your shippable wooden rack, three rack. And uh, this is how it comes, obviously. You've received your box, right? We've opened up the box. I'm gonna show you how easy this is to assemble your arms and feet. At first, you might feel a little overwhelmed with all these parts, but watch how easy this is. So we've divided it into two sections, uh, left and right. And one side is going to be numbered, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the other side is going to be alphabetical, A, B, C, D, and E. So divide the parts based on that, okay? So there's E, there's one of the foot. We've got it kind of divided here. There's 5 over there. And we've got 5, so I'm going to put numbers on the far side. 4, 3, and the back of that is one. Okay, so there we go. We've got the two sections like that. Also, in your box, you're going to receive your screws to assemble that back on. And we usually throw a shim in there, and you're going to see what the shim's for. It's just a piece of cardboard. Uh, you can use any piece of cardboard, but uh, you'll see why this comes in handy when I assemble. Okay, so let's just push this stuff up out of the way. Okay, we're going to work on one side. Okay, so get your backer. Okay, set that on a flat surface. And on the back of this, this is going to be A. So now the next thing we're going to look for is B, which should be the bottom one. Like that. B. Okay. And what we're going to do is just turn that, and we're going to, wherever we find a match to B, we're going to line it up. There's B right there. And you can see we've already traced the outline of where this foot is going to sit. And everything's pre-drilled. So all you have to do is line this back up. You see your lines, right? Line that back up to our little tracing. And you're going to notice, see down here, you see how the line isn't quite meeting it? What we want to do is we want to pick this up a little. And that's what your shim is for, okay? So let's take this shim. We'll put it right underneath here. Now, check it out. See your line? Lined up perfect, B with B. Okay, that's in the right place. So B, now we're going to go with C. There's C. Line that up. Put that underneath. Same thing. We'll use, we'll use that shim in a second to move it up. And the last one is D. So we'll put D at the top. Line that up. You see how that sits right on there. Okay, everything's pre-drilled. So now we're just going to open up our screws. And we're just going to tighten everything up. It is very nice to work off of a flat surface. It makes it much easier. Uh, these screws, too, are a square bit. Uh, for our friends down in the United States, these might not be as common for you guys. These are a Robson bit, which is kind of a Canadian invention. But, boy, do they ever work good. The end of that is square, and it locks right in, okay? So it doesn't spin or strip it. Um, we don't send you the bit, but any hardware store is going to have it. So it's a Robinson number two square bit. Okay? All right, let's do this. So we'll start at the back. Got everything lined up. And just take your time. They're going to find their own holes again. Just like that. Don't forget to move that little shim up to the next arm. That, what it does is that makes that nice and tight against that, wedges it in. Again, take the time, line up those lines. There's C with C. Okay, we're good to go. Make sure you're flush, not on a, on a, on a goofy angle. Nice and tight. Perfect. Nice. One more. Again, this one's a little harder to see, but as long as you've got that perfect, then you know it's going to line up perfect against here. Okay?
If you feel a lot of resistance, you might be not quite lined up because they should just find their way back into the original holes. There we go. Okay, there's the arms from the back. Now, these ones here are the next sets that we want to do. You can see them there. I'm doing with this side we're going to do the exact same thing with the opposite side of the rack that's why we recommend working off of a uh, workbench or a picnic table or a flat surface like a floor even maybe on top of the kitchen counter Just make sure your wife's not home when you do this especially on the kitchen counter <laughs> there we go Almost done. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Back's done. Okay. Now, the very last thing is right here. This little 45 angle supports this arm, and there's one little screw that goes on an angle there just to hold that in place. There we go. Okay, let's stand it up. A, B, C, D, and on the very back it says E. E, and we're just going to line that right up. Watch how easy this is. This goes right on, just like that. Slides on. We've got four screws to tighten up. In fact, I don't even need to do that. I can just show you in the back. One, two, three, four. See the line? E with E. Freestanding. Now, this is one side. There's something I want to explain, though. Do you see how all the hardware is visible on this side of the rack? You spin this rack around, nothing, no hardware on this side. So this is the side you want facing out. Okay, when you do the other one, it'll be the opposite. And there you go. Nothing to it. So again, uh, if you have any questions, uh, be sure to drop us an email. Uh, you can also give us a call. We're always available to talk to our uh, clients. And that's how you assemble your wooden freestanding three rack.